Hello everybody and welcome back to our midweek Advent Reflections. This is the very last of our midweek reflections as we move on to the fourth Sunday of Advent, which this year is also Christmas Eve. So this is our very last reflection, thinking about two questions and a song. And my guest today is a familiar face to lots of you, usually from behind the mic or in the choir loft at Clinton Presbyterian Church, Tom Fuller. Hello. Tom, thanks for jumping in and joining us. I'm glad to be here. Today. So, as you know, Tom, we've been doing this series of two questions and a song, and today you are our guest. I'll ask you two questions about Advent, Christmas, and then invite you to share a favorite Christmas song with us. Okay. So my first question for you today is, do you have a traditional Christmas dinner? And if so, what does it include? So on Christmas Day, we have a dinner every year. And I guess that technically it includes... um, a somewhat, um, I don't know if this is traditional, but uh, it's it happens every year, so it's a tradition for us. It's, it's tradition for you, right? It's ham. So okay. I guess Christmas ham, of course, that's the thing, right? People say I that. think so. I think, Turkey, I think that, ham. Right, yeah. Um, I guess they always get a uh, Christmas ham in my mom's. Um, her uh, parents started that, and okay. so they uh, continue to do that. Um, it's not the most memorable, um, (laughs) it's, uh, very, um, I'm not the biggest fan of ham, uh, but it's, uh, always there and it does feel very, um, Christmassy when I have it because, Mm -hmm. uh, I avoid it otherwise. (laughs) So (laughs) So, it wouldn't be Christmas without it and you could live without that. Yes. Yeah. Um, but I would say that by far the uh, most memorable Christmas food is all of the stuff that comes before the ham. Um, And every year my uh, uncle makes uh, this great smoked salmon. And I usually try to uh, fill up on appetizers before uh, because that's just um, where the deliciousness is. Right, in the appetizers. Mm -hmm. So you try to make a meal of that. Yes, and then we get to the official tradition Okay. Um, and yeah, it's all about, uh, you know, being there, um, with your family. So yeah. the stuff that, uh, uh, can feed everybody yeah. in terms of like a ham, um, it still is good because of, uh, everything associated with it right. rather than just its particular flavor. Right. It's taste, yes. but it brings everyone together. To, and do you have a favorite side dish maybe that goes with the ham? Um, not particularly. Okay. I generally <laughs> fill up on, on the same on, on, yep. Okay. <laughs> on, on all the stuff before. Uh, and that all happens for your family on Christmas Day. On Christmas Day, yeah. Okay. On Christmas Eve, it's just um, a continuous snacking from two until it's done. And okay. uh, that is, there's, you know, it's whatever people bring. Yeah. There's no rhyme or reason to it. Sounds delicious. Yeah. All day snacking. It's a lot of food. Great. It's good. So my second question for you is, do you have a favorite memory around Christmas time? Yeah, so um, my favorite memory is actually, um, it goes back to a Christmas when I was a kid. um, Mm -hmm. And it's uh, not a particularly, um, like, happy event, but it is very... uh, dear to my heart okay and so this one christmas we were um you know we spent uh the night at my um uncle's which we do um every christmas eve okay and that christmas eve when we came home our heat was not working Hmm. and so um what we had to do because we just had no propane no heat um 
we had to, you know, have a fire in the fireplace mm-hmm. because it was so cold that, um, you know, it, you had to have heat or, right. right. And so we were all like huddled up by the fire and, um, you know, just the memory of, you know, sleeping close to my family in yeah. front of the fireplace. Um, with like, you know, the one space heater we had plugged in right. next to it, <laughs> it uh, trying to get enough warmth. Um, it's just, uh, you know, even though it's, uh, you know, we had lots of sleeping bags too. Cause, right. Uh, <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, as many layers as you could Exactly. Manage. Yeah. Um, but it was, uh, you know, a good time, probably the you know closest I've ever slept to uh, my family to everyone yeah (laughs) all of you together and there's something about um making the best of that bad situation of no heat out of it comes actually a a, sort of a good core memory of Mm -hmm. closeness yeah exactly yeah Yeah, so i really appreciate that um that memory yeah although like the ham it does not bear repeating. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, we're going to have ham this year, too. Okay. So. <laughs> but hopefully you'll also have heat. Yes. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. The heat, we don't need to relive. Right. But right. Um, I will still, you know, be by the fire by myself if I need to. Right. You know, yeah. It's I love still, that. It, every time we have a fire, it reminds me of that, and yeah. it's just a good time. That's a great memory to recall. So when I first asked you, Tom, you know, to do this interview, and I said, you know, if you could just share a favorite song, um, your response was, of course, as a musician, there's not a favorite. Right. They're, right. <laughs> they're all very good. But what is one song that maybe you would like to lift up for us today? Um, I'm a big fan of Joy to the World. It's really, uh, like, positive in spirit, and I think it captures... Um, you know, what Christmas is all about. Okay. So usually after we have had a person share the song each week, we then have other people record the song. But um, given Tom's musical talent, you've agreed to not, (laughs) it's true, to not only share what your favorite song is, but you've also agreed to record that yeah i will course. attempt i will attempt to, to um create a recording of that for you guys mm-hmm. and your own arrangement uh yeah that? it will be um because uh reading the music for that would be too much of a hassle i will <laughs> bless you with my own rendition great well tom thank you for um sharing that with us and i think joy to the world is perfect as we get so close now to christmas Mm -hmm. because that is how we end both of our christmas eve services each year and so this is for all of us as we are tuning in today a little prelude to Mm -hmm. what is to come um, later this week on sunday as we celebrate the birth of jesus so thank you for that And thanks for taking the time to chat with us. Not a problem. Today. I enjoyed doing it. Great. Next year, same place, same time. <laughs> <laughs> so let's enjoy together um, Tom's recording of Joy to the World. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Receive her King Every heart Prepare Him room Heaven and nature sing Heaven and nature sing Heaven and heaven and nature sing to the world the Savior brings. Let men their songs employ. Fields and floods, rocks, hills, and plains, repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy. the sounding joy He rules 
the world with truth and grace makes the nations prove glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love wonders of his love wonders wonders of his love The sounding joy Heaven and heaven and nature sing 